Welcome back, and today we are going to be selecting and masking a subject, at least in this video we're going to. Uh, and then later on we're going to use Puppet Warp and raise this uh, girl's chin. If you're in my class, you should download the 06 start file uh, from the Classroom in a Book series, and you should go to File and pick Save As, and change the word start to working and then you can save that into your Google Drive folder so I'm gonna make a new folder here actually and call it Photoshop 2 awesome and I'm going to make sure that the format is Photoshop and I'm gonna hit save great okay so let's select this uh, person. So we're going to go into a new tool, Select and Mask, right here. Pick Select and then Select and Mask. The next thing that I'd like you to do is I want you to click on Select Subject. Now, in actual fact, what you will see is you will see this, because that's the default, which is really hard to see in my opinion. Now if you take a look over here on the top right you'll see this view section and you can pick a whole bunch of different ways to view the selection. Now, see that's very stark. Uh, I want you to go on through. Please notice that there are also shortcuts so O for uh, onion, okay. M will pick the marching ants and uh, the book actually wants you to pick overlay, which is showing this red overlay right here. That's okay, I guess. I don't like it as much as Marching Ants. For me, Marching Ants is the best. You can pick the one that works best for you. Now, you will notice it has picked this, uh, the girl, and it's not done too badly. We're going to refine it just a bit just a bit. So let's zoom on in. Hit Z for zoom, it turns to a magnifying glass and we can zoom on in. Spacebar turns to a hand which means you can grab and move around. So now we're going to add to this selection. Adding to the selection uh, we're gonna start off with the quick selection tool which is up here but it's also the letter W. I'm going to pick about the size of 13, I think the book suggests about 15, and we are going to click in here and drag along throughout the part that we missed, and it picks all the part that we missed. Now on purpose I'm going to go outside here a little bit, just to kind of show you if you miss, or if it adds in parts you don't want, hold down the Option key, Alt on Windows and you just paint the part that you don't want and it removes it. You also notice that it has, it's really hard to see, but it turns into a minus sign in the middle of the brush as opposed to the plus sign when you let go. All right, so letting go of that, so now I have the plus sign and I'm adding to the selection and again, it's doing this. And so I am going to go around, all the way around, and pull down the space bar each time to get the hand tool. And I am following this all the way around and adding in little parts where it has missed. That's okay. That's good. Now leave this hair strand here and I'll, I'll just show you why. If I try to get it, you see this? We'll come back to that, command Z, in order to undo what I've done. Okay, same thing with this hair in here, don't worry about that stuff. That's all very fine, we're going to work on that after. And I think we are good. Okay, awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this hair strand on the back of her bun. And we are going to pick the... Um, what are we going to do? We're going to go with the Refine Edge Brush Tool, which is the letter R. Okay, now, you want to make sure that the settings for your brush, you have a hardness of 100. Again, I'm going with about a 13 for the brush size. However you want to do it, you can change the brush size by 
chain uh, holding down or hitting the square bracket. Right square bracket makes it bigger, left square bracket makes it smaller. And so now, uh, what am I at? I'm at 10. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And I'm going to go along this strand of hair. Now you'll notice that it doesn't, it's not perfect. That's okay but it's better than it was. And I'm going to go along this strand of hair too. And again, you will notice that it's not perfect. It's actually pretty good. I shouldn't have done that. There it is. Okay. Now, in my experience, I have found that when I'm adding to this picture, that you're not going to get any better with these tools. If you want to go with the lasso tool, that's L for lasso, and that's this guy right here, you can add in by just going around this and just straight up drawing around this part. And then you let go, it draws a straight line to wherever you've let go. That's the best way to do that strand of hair, quite honestly. Now, R to go back to the refined brush, and I want you to paint in little bits around this. Now, you will notice you're not going to get it into the very fine hair. That's okay. And if it is picking any of the background, you'll want to hold down the Option key and undo that part. Okay, so we're continuing to go in here and get the very fine stuff. Now, we are down here near her back. Now, this part down here is actually a real bother because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And so if you go into the refine brush tool and you've got, I've got a brush of 13 and a hardness of 100, and then I go in and I hold down, get out of that, there it is, hold down the option key, so it's turning to a minus sign, you'll see, see minus sign, and then you try to work on this area in here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and it doesn't pick really the, the, all of the parts that I want, you know, I, I think that, uh, the some sometimes it doesn't even pick any of that and it's a little picky on that part so what I like to do is in cases like this again I just hit L for lasso and I just draw the part in that I like that I want as best as I can with the mouse and I'll do this again in here. If you happen to have one of those tablets, those things are awesome and they are so much better than using a mouse. And we have one in, uh, actually we have three in the ComTech lab. Uh, so if you happen to be back in the ComTech lab, then uh, see if you can get one. They're awesome. Okay, so I've selected that and so now what we're going to do is we're going to go command zero pulls us all the way back and out and I want you to go through some of these guys right here and take a look here see whether or not there's parts that we have missed or gotten you'll notice this part right down here I'm going to hold down the option key, see how my lasso turns to a minus sign, and I'm going to say, yeah, we don't want that. Thank you very much. So now what I want you to do is I want you to, uh, we're, we're going to see how this is going to look. So pick on layers, which is Y. So if you go to Y. And we're going to make some adjustments along these guys right along in here. They're called global adjustments. That means it works for everything. So this thing is still selected, don't forget. So like if you hit M, you'll get your marching ants back again. And Y takes you back to the layers. And we're going to zoom in and see the edges as we make some changes. So I'm going to uh, zoom out just a little and then zoom back in. So there, 
I want to be able to see like her chin and the hair and that kind of thing. And I want you to take the smooth slider and I want you to go back and forth just so that you can see. Go all the way up to the maximum amount. See this extra amount that's added around her nose and her lips right here. And I want you to pull it back on down to zero and you'll see that that's gone. As a matter of fact, we're just going to add just a touch. Just going to go up to about five on that. And then we are going to uh, we're going to shift the edge. Uh, now I want you to play with the slider on shifting the edge too. Um, but in actual fact, let's let's go to contrast first. So I want you to go put a huge amount of contrast up, and you'll see how it's got a little bit of color on in here under her chin, and then back it off to zero, and you'll see that that's reduced it just by a little bit. I'm going to put contrast to 20, and then the shift edge again go all the way up to the top up to 100 see how it's moved it outwards a little bit now go all the way down to the bottom and see how it's moved it in we've lost little strands of the as hairs and that kind of thing if you double click on shift edge it goes right back to the middle and we are actually going to pull it in ever so slightly minus 15 was what I used last time but I think actually I may even pull it a little further. Minus 25 for me. You can zoom on in and see what you like. Now, don't forget that if you go too far, then you're going to start to lose stuff like up here in her hair, etc. That kind of thing. So I'm going to go on back to minus 15. All right, and so there it is. Okay, and lastly, I want you to click on Output Settings, open that up right here, and uh, you want to be zoomed in so that you can see what's going on. Uh, about 200 to 500% move on in, and so if you click on Decontaminate Colors, you will see that it makes it look quite nice and such matter of fact go back and forth with the slider now you're gonna let it uh, you're gonna need to let it update when it does that but if you just keep on going till it goes to where you like and uh, and you have to, you have to wait for it to update which can be a little bit of a pain and make sure so it's a little too much for my liking I'm gonna back it off yeah oh yeah that's getting much better 25 is what I'm gonna actually go for excellent choose new layer with layer mask from output to menu and new layer with layer mask this guy right here and then say okay and there it is it is now selected and you will see that we have a mask that we can change if we need to awesome